Good morning. The potato. Potato. What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more. Huge shout out to this month's Patreons, Bedali, Kips, Alexandra, Joss, and Sam. And in this one. This is the bird's current cage. All three of them currently live in here. The setup is not the most ideal. They have some torn up toys. We went on an Amazon shopping spree for these dudes and we bought them a couple accessories. We bought them some comfy perches and a 33 inch rope perch, as well as a couple toys. We're gonna go ahead and completely redecorate their cage. This is the current cage I use for all three of them. 31 by 20 by 52 and it was $162. This cage was originally only for freeze, but then we we transferred Nismo into it and lastly we put the new bird next month I am planning on purchasing the cockatiels a different cage just because I'm pretty sure freeze is pretty fed up with two cockatiels I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to live with two cockatiels so he's gonna have his own cage pretty soon someone asked about Nismo's old cage which is this one right here the new birds pretty interested in it new bird old cage. new bird old cage would I recommend this cage for one single cockatiel this was Nismo's old cage for quite some time Ever since I got him, Nismo's already a full grown cockatiel so he's not gonna grow. A bird should be able to flap their wings around just so they can get that extra little stretch. This bird cage right here is perfect for a cockatiel. It's really important your bird has out of cage time. This cage setup is horrible. This cage is a little bit smaller than half of this as long as you have ways for your bird to be entertained such as toys or out of cage activities then yes this cage is completely fine for a cockatiel. The problem with smaller cages is that you can't really whether that be with toys bird perches or even bird baths yes a cockatiel is able to live in a cage like this if you want more room to organize your cage and more space for your bird if they're going to be in the cage for a longer period then a larger cage such as this is mandatory as far as what i feed the birds this is what i feed them it's a cockatiel mix with sunflower seeds and i just toss it into this container right here We got everything in the mail, but first let's do a little cage tour before all the new items. Here we have a food bowl, the water bowl back here. This perch I purchased at the moment is the highest perch that will stay in the cage. I will be removing the ladder food bowl all the way at the bottom. Let's go ahead and open everything I bought them. I personally always purchase everything online, but if you do purchase stuff from pet stores, just make sure to desanitize, especially toys you purchase them. This here's a 14 inch toy and it's looking pretty sturdy. It looks like this is gonna be a really nice toy for them to munch on. The birds need a lot of toys to keep them entertained. Toys such as these are perfect little ways to distract them. Birds love to destroy stuff. Your bird will go through a lot of these toys. Here's the next item. This could pretty much be installed on any cage just because of the way it's set up. This flexible 33 inch perch. I'm gonna try and eliminate those two current perches that they have. Let's go ahead and start by removing everything that's currently inside the cage. This is his old toy, look at that. Someone in the comments said you should remove that. It could encourage breeding behavior and that's probably true. The cage is now completely stripped. I feel like the best option is to allow the birds to get out. Okay. Come on, new bird, don't be skirt. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and try and make a nice little climbing path using this bendy perch right here. Look at them, dude. Stop doing 
kisses. Well, Freeze just landed in the dam. <laughs> Free cap. Here, you want to go up with them? Not exactly sure how you're supposed to set this toy up. It doesn't come with anything to hang. This big old toy. Oh! Moved a couple things around, removed a couple things. There it is, that's the final setup. This little corner is the little colorful area. Well, that's the setup. Let's go ahead and put the birds in there now. You are going to be the first. Oh my gosh, look at him just take off. <laughs> this one's Nemu, I can already tell. Keep going, keep going, mother trucker. Go until you go to your damn cage. Go to your cage, Nemo. Oh, bastard. That bird toy is pretty big, which is good. So it could be more difficult for them to tear it. Scoping out the new toys, looking them kind of funky. It's fine, it's fine, he'll get used to it. The homie Freeze is already on his wood perch. The really difficult one to get inside. The new bird. New bird, get to your fucking cage! This is the problem with an untamed bird. It's extremely difficult to retrieve them to the house. The way I try to do it is I try to guide them to their cage. Keep scaring them off every spot. They'll eventually land in their cage. There it is. And after this, open up a cage. Slowly. You know what to do. Look at him. He's like, Ooh, my <laughs> peer pressure them into their cage. Go ahead now, new bird. He's about to try out the new rope. Oh, he's eyeballing it. He's eyeballing it. Freeze is about one year old, I believe. Maybe a little bit less. I'll throw the link down in the description of everything I purchased. If he did like any of these. But I knew he was going to love that. Parrots are pretty good at destroying things, so you have to make sure they always have toys available. I'll show you guys what this toy looks like tomorrow morning. I missed the best thing here. They're J's, they're fresh J little toys that they came up. I'm gonna hang these up. I'm gonna go ahead and put some treats in them first. They are bird toys, so they're completely fine to be destroyed. It's gonna be like a nice little pinata for them. And I'm pretty sure the only one that's gonna be able to enjoy these is Freeze, because the other birds don't really have that deep of a passion to destroy things. It came with more, but let's go ahead and put these two in there. This is the setup I ended up sticking with. The small comfy perch on one of the corners right here in the front of the cage. If you put perches on the corners like this, you want to make sure to put it in the front. Since if you put it in the back, their tail will be hitting. So you want to make sure to put it in the front like this. The 33 inch is wrapped around, giving them a nice little way to climb. This is two days after this toy. The toy itself is holding up pretty good. One of the sneakers is in the salad bowl. Here's the other one I put in. A little bit destroyed. I'm pretty sure the treats are still in there though. Hmm, are you acting like a little potato? 
Were you jealous, Freeze? Let's see what Freeze does. Let's see, maybe he got motivated by Nemo. Free! I never freeze! Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.